a razor blade, guys, and he was able to squirm his way out of there. Oh, here's a big find right here, you guys. Yeah, look at this, you guys. Bam! It's not answering. I don't like to do it, but... Still didn't work, and it's going straight to voicemail. Maybe around the back here? I know I'm at the right house, because look at... Well, in the meantime, we'll get up on the roof. Maybe my stomping on the roof will wake him up. Wake up, damn it! we ain't got all day. Wow, look at all this exclusion work. So whoever did the exclusion work here did a pretty good job, man. Well, it looks like it's gonna be the Norway rat. Let's do a little sniff test. Okay, so let's see if I'm right. There's a bathroom there. There's a bathroom over here. I haven't been inside. Let's see if they take me to this bathroom here. If they do, then we're on to something. Because that smell definitely has a hint of an odor over there. Let's wait. See which bathroom it is. I'll take that bath. So they have been hearing some noises in the crawl space. Let's see how tight it is. <laughs> That's not too bad. Bed right here. A fresh one or old? That looks like the roof rat. You can see how black it is right there. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of these traps, even though it caught this one. But you can see that the technician applied peanut butter up here. The reason why these don't work effectively like the wooden snap traps is they eat the bait inside of that bait station there without tripping this uh, trigger right here. But because the peanut butter was applied up above, it helped activate this and increase that capture rate with this rat. The other thing I don't like about these here is that the juveniles just walk right over it and they're able to come in and delicately eat the bait right out of that feed plate there without again activating these traps. That's just from my experience watching hours and hours of these rats in our Wi-Fi cameras. So I know a lot of pest control companies or technicians may disagree with this, but I guarantee you your capture rate will be a lot better if you use a wooden snap trap. You have a lot more options as well to set those wooden rat traps, especially with our rat hood and our bait tuggers. Our capture rate has been off the charts, at least up by 45%. When was the last time you heard them? Two days ago. Two days ago? Yeah. Okay. And you've had multiple people come out and try we to- We have people before coming. They finally, they like after one year, he said, oh, it has, it's a sewer problem, which maybe that's what it is, okay? But he never went and checked to see what it was. Right. If nobody else will do it, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> okay, we're getting the smoke machine set up. Got our walkie talkie so I can go underneath that crawl space and communicate. So here we go. Message received, we are waiting. Over and out. Flashlight. It's a nice find. What do you, what is this worth here? You guys leave in the comments. I think about a hundred bucks, right, for the flashlight and then the battery. You have a vase here. What do you think this is worth? Put this on Etsy or Craigslist. Probably get like, I don't know, two and a half bucks for it. And if you're a plumber, you ran out of four inch pipe. I mean, this will get you by in an emergency. This is worth probably, I'd say about five bucks. Need to shim your toilet? This is the perfect piece of wood, this little shimmer right here. This right here is probably worth, oh, I don't know, a buck and a half. Pleasure doing business with you. Where'd you come through? Right here? You think I can make it with all this muscle mass that I have? Yeah, all this plumbing looks good, huh? Dave, you there? Yes, I'm here. Do I start pumping the smoke? Absolutely. Should have been pumping that smoke 20 minutes ago. What are you waiting for? Chinese New Year? Go, go, go. That's a tight squeeze. Got a gas line and you've got a waste pipe here. Oh, all right. At least it's nice and dry under here. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 
I'm already starting to see some uh, suspect areas here. Man, if you're claustrophobic, this job is not for you. It's dark, no fresh air, dusty, dirty, especially with a mask on. The walls are closing in on me. Somebody did some exclusion work up here. My prediction, there's gonna be a breach pipe up inside of this wall right here. Question is, how are they still getting under here? Well, I do see some gaps. Right there, there's a hole from that wall. Where they can kind of come and go and you can see the grease marks. Really heavy. That's all signs of this is their, their main runway right here. Well, here's another spot right here. Suspect where they can co be coming in and out. Can you guys tap on the pipe that you're putting the smoke in just so I can identify the vent down here? Yep, it's right there, you guys, right where this highway is. I think we found it. I don't know why I'm not seeing smoke here yet. If he's seen a little bit of smoke coming out of the electrical socket, so we'll, oh, I see smoke. I see smoke. Well, speak of the devil. Okay, I see it there. It here. Oh, look at this. Okay. So this pipe terminates into this concrete. There's a little bit of a gap right there. So somebody shoved concrete here. All they had to do was cut it and put a cap on, but I don't know why they would go through the extent of pouring concrete down here to cover this up. You've done fairly sloppy work here. But we are getting smoke up above. I'm just trying to verify there's no smoke coming out of here going up. Definitely something going on over here. One of the fresh water pipe, it's not put in correctly. I think that's where the smoke is coming out. I can pull in it and it's just exposed drywall. All right, I'm coming out right now. Uh, tell Victor to get the camera ready. Found something else that's uh, of value. This is called plumber's tape. It's only used now to strap like steel pipe, gas pipe. Can't use it on drains anymore. But this right here, I think it's probably about $4.59 at Home Depot. That's real money right there. Yeah, here's my point. Plastic strapping only is the code. Back in the 80s, we used that uh, steel plumber's tape. This is the 2020 version. I think it's about time to get out of here. <sighs> I think I'll just stay under here. A lot more dry. Huh? Down a hole? Oh, yeah, look, you guys, inside the wall there. Yeah. Pull, pull it back. Up. That's the pipe, look. That's the pipe there, and Let's then go down. That. And look, it, it's, uh, that's inside the wall there. That's it. My prediction, there's gonna be a breach pipe up inside of this wall right here. You're right as always, Ramsworth. I don't know why I love this job so much, you guys. Those are the moments right there when you dig deep and you find things that other people can't is what I'm really proud of. Let's talk to the customer to let him know what our findings were. The vent for the sink and this connection is completely wide open. So okay. what's happening is the sewer rats, they're coming in, coming out, and then they're going back down in the crawl space. So this lav here has to come out in order for us to put all this pipe and stuff back together. Jose wants to talk about it with his wife to go over opening up that wall, repairing the pipe, all of that. It does get a little expensive, but in the meantime, we'll throw this away. And we're off to the next one today, guys. Okay, this is our second job. They're hearing scratching in the kitchen area. That's all I've heard. So let's go in and see what this call's all about. This rain's holding us back. I'm soaked through. So we got another rodent company that's showing up. So we got some competition here, you guys. Let's go see what they're doing and how they're doing it. Clearly a matter of espionage. When we did the, uh, the walkthrough, all the traps, none of them were activated. I just put that one there just cause um, yesterday I saw some uh, chippings from here. So I thought maybe they could, somehow they were pushing through it. Uh huh. I noticed these two, but there's nothing as far as like food or anything in there. I don't even know if we're gonna end up getting this job or not, but we already have an idea of how they're getting in. Let's just wait for the owner here and see what happens. But we definitely have another rodent exterminator here he just said he's on um, he's on his way but he told me uh he does want you guys to do it so i'm just going to talk to oh, the okay lady. okay good 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 but i told him about your um 
monitoring? The monitor, he said that's really, that's actually better. Okay. Um, he's just gonna figure out how he can, how get, can get it. How can get it, nice. Mm. Okay. So it looks like the landlord went with us. So we're gonna move forward here, get to the bottom of this once and for all. You can see, guys, there is some big rats that we're dealing with in that kitchen. Those rodent droppings are huge. They're chewing those kitchen cabinets. He can't even rent this place out. The other tenants bailed because it's just getting out of control. Somebody please shut the alarm off! Wait, there's not even a kitchen vent. There's no kitchen vent here, you guys. That could be a problem. So it's up on the roof. Remember that kitchen vent? There's the kitchen vent right there. Doesn't even terminate through the roof, you guys. Let's track that kitchen vent. Yeah, look at this, you guys. Bam! That vent there should be going through the roof. It ends right here. The other rodent control companies, again, setting a bunch of rat traps up here with no rats. So again, if you're hiring a pest control company and they're coming out and they're just setting up a bunch of rat traps and they're not proving to you how they're getting into your home, it's a waste of money. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. That kitchen vent, there's no signs that those rats are coming through there. Not smelling anything. We've got a tree right here. It's actually an avocado tree. So we can see if they're eating any avocados. These are squirrels. These are squirrels, huh? Are squirrels. Let's keep looking. Oh, here's a big find right here, you guys. Right there into the house. Let's see. Yep, right there, right into the house. So there's a space between the kitchen cabinet here. What they're doing, there's a lot of droppings right here. And this is the kitchen area, so they're coming up through here. They're going between the, the toe kick of the kitchen cabinet into the house. This area here needs to get sealed off. Yeah, I could even see the kitchen cabinets from here. Let's see if we have some rodent droppings underneath here, but this is how I think they're getting into the house. Sounds like a real good guess. I don't know, you guys. I think these are squirrel droppings. They're massive. These are rodent droppings here. Yeah, there are all the activities over here. So I'm le it's leading, guys, where that hole is right over there. You see that little shiny daylight spot right where my finger's at? That's where they're coming in. Oh, look at the nesting material, you guys. They're dragging up bags and stuff underneath the sink or the tub. Gosh. Oh, look at this pole. It's pulling. Coming out of here. See it? Yeah. Well, that's definitely it. All right, so we found all of the entry points to the home. We're gonna go ahead and put a proposal together to take care of the vent, sanitization, the outside work, and then get here tomorrow if they approve it to continue this. They also need to set up Wi-Fi. I told them it's gonna be critical to set up Wi-Fi cameras to monitor just to confirm and verify that we've knocked these rats out of the house and there's no more way they're getting in. So that's super important. Stay tuned. All right, so we're headed over to a jog. We caught a rat up in the attic. We've got to get that out because it looks like the mama rat starting to cannibalize. We don't want to have any more food source up there. So we've got to rush out there, pull this rat out and reset up our uh, trap. So been a long day. I'm tired, but got to keep this going. Getting those rats out of there. 3.28 a.m. Okay, guys, we've arrived. Long day, but you can see here I'm getting this wonderful rat trap ready to put up in the attic. Got some peanut butter, got some Slim Jim. So we're ready to go. Let's do this. Got him. You notice his head way up inside this hood, you guys. This is the secret of catching more rats. He shoved his head way in there to get the bait. I know it's pretty brutal, guys, but I did put a razor blade because this kill bar was off a little bit to make up the difference so i glued a razor blade so let's put one of our hoodies over this here we'll bait this up here that's what got this guy here see i put a razor blade right there cut him up pretty good right there problem is with these uh these juveniles sometimes if they're not caught right they'll slip out it's very 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 rare because these wooden snap traps just clamp down on them so hard all right so let's just get uh, one more one more up here because we know that there's two rats up here i've been monitoring with this camera right here we removed all these contaminated bags of insulation but we're not putting the new insulation back in until we get these rats out of here so i got just gonna trap uh, two more 
Two more is respectable. Okay guys, I don't have one of our rat bait tuggers, so what we're gonna do, take a little piece of this insulation right here. Okay, I just shove it down in here like this. Push this down. Like that. And I'm gonna take some peanut butter, and we're just gonna saturate that insulation. Now we have something to tug on. Now we're ready for a little hoodie. I'm telling you, it has done wonders in our capture rate. What I'm finding in the camera guys are really digging deep into this to get the bait. Leave in your comments, which one do you think they're gonna hit? Slim Jim with the bait tugger, the peanut butter insulation, the green uh, trap. And I'm not joking, this is a big one. Looks like we got a big one. I might be here first thing in the morning. And you know, if it works to your advantage, you, you just don't need to sleep or anything. Come back whenever the damn well fell. I okay. Can. Definitely a long day, but this is what it takes to serve your customers and to stay on top of those rats is my point. You gotta go the extra mile. If I didn't pull that rat out of that attic, they're gonna start to cannibalize on that. And then that's another three or four days of wait time, downtime. That's the importance of getting that rat out of there this late in the day. Just don't want to take any chance. So we got some new fresh food. So we'll see what happens. 12 seconds later. I literally just left, guys. And right, right there on the right. You see his eyes light up to the right-hand side? Look at him right there. I think we got him. All right, it's the next morning. I'm refreshed. We've got some good news. But then we've got some bad news. Let's take a look at the good news. Epic catch, right? I was super excited. In fact, I was out to dinner and I had my phone propped up to a glass of water watching this thing time. live and caught that bad baby. But then 40 seconds later, look at the bad news. A razor blade, guys, and he was able to squirm his way out of there. I was so, so upset. A couple hours later, we got the last juvenile and that's where we're headed now to pull them out. I'm gonna see if we can track down that big one. But boy, this rat, in all of my years that I've been doing this, one of the smartest, strongest, and man, by the looks of it, looks like one of the biggest attic rats. So anyhow, let's get it back in that attic and see what we can find here. Round two, baby. All right, so I just wanna give you guys a little history. This is a bathroom right here. This is where they were hearing the noise. And we did our smoke test and found that the plumber back in the day during construction never connected the pipe so the rats were coming in it's probably one of the worst rat dropping infestations i've ever seen all right there's our hood again guys success head just buried into the bait got you good right that big one i don't know how how it got away look at that man be one strong son of a bitch all right let's go back We'll spray our enzyme. Maybe we'll see the big one back there dead. Gotta sit back and wait now. That's why this monitoring is so important. Just wanted to share with you guys too, some of these ultrasonic rodent repellents. They're loud, they're noisy. They put these up here, I would say about four months ago and didn't make a difference. And I've seen some of these cost up to $300. Look at. <laughs> I hate that noise. They didn't care, they get used to it and it doesn't phase them. So don't waste your money, especially $300. It's, they just do not work. I've been on hundreds and hundreds of jobs. These ultrasonic noise repellents just do not work. I think we're gonna do a little challenge here. He's paying about $70 a month for bait boxes around the perimeter of the property. One of the biggest reasons why I hate bait boxes and the poisons is what it does to the wildlife. Ours is all natural. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the bait box against the twin bait box. So what we're gonna do is we set up a camera right here. This is a, a fresh bait box. We're gonna put the twins box right here and we're gonna monitor the activity and we're gonna see which one is more effective, okay? Sounds like a challenge to me. See the amount of activity I had on the last job, but there's our peanut butter mix right there and baking soda. I'm just gonna make shift this thing right here, slide it in. This is baited with some Slim Jim. Get our camera in position. 
Okay, we are set. Let's monitor this here for the next 15 days. All right, it's been three days. I cannot catch that rat. So we're gonna show up and we're gonna do something a little different because he wants nothing to do with those rat traps. So my idea is because they were the Norway rat, they came through the sewer pipe. We're gonna set up our rat back and this is how we're gonna do it. So this is a big rat. I don't wanna take any chances. What we're gonna do is take some peanut oil. We're gonna go ahead and lube up the inside of this vacuum hose. Now we're ready to attach it to our rat vac. Let's test the rat vac with this piece of plastic and tape here. Kind of mimic a rat. Looks like we're ready to go. Okay, so we've got our shot back there. And then right here, he's been walking right here. So I'm hoping that he's going to come right into here. And what we're going to do is, because this rat is so smart, very scared of everything, we're just going to cover this up as much as we can. Definitely going to add some fresh peanut butter. This bad baby caught a rat in Arizona. I don't know if you guys saw that episode. It was awesome. Nice and thick. Oh, yeah. He is for sure one of the smartest, toughest, most neophobic rat I've ever dealt with. And I'm on a mission and I hope that our rat back will just suck him right up. All right guys, we're bringing this job to a closure. The great thing is we got this rat. And yes, the homeowner is really liking the fact that our outside bait boxes are working so effective that the pest control company's coming to pick up their bait boxes. I'll show you the activity that we're getting here is quite extraordinary. You can see in there the the activity. So the night vision on this uh, camera didn't really do a good job. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this and we're just gonna mount it inside of this box here so we can really see what's going on inside and that will determine if we're uh, catching anything as well on that snap trap. Okay, so I didn't know this, but my guys ended up setting another trap all the way on the other side of the house where the master bedroom is. So let's go up there, see what we caught. If I would have known, I would have removed Move that trap and lured him right into that rat back. But at least we got him. At least we got him. Okay, here he is. Oh, look at it. Look at how his nose is just buried right into there, you guys. Compared to, oh, look at this. See, this is the other pest controllers. Look at this guy almost got away. Almost got away. This is why I don't like these rat traps. So look at the difference. Almost got away versus luring their heads right into the kill zone here. Big difference, you guys. Before I leave this area here, you could see rat traps being placed directly on the insulation. Not effective at all. All of them activated. It's not effective. All right, so for those of you that say, there's no way that rat would have been sucked up into that rat back. Rats are too big. Let's uh, show you some proof here. So the rat comes in to get the bait. Yeah, he's pretty big. Goes in to get the bait. You see the damage that rats can do, all the secondary damages such as contamination, bad indoor air environment, the odors. It's significant, significant damage. You are rat free. That is Am I rat free now? You are rat free. Well, I can hardly believe Bless that. You. Thank and if you. we're not, I got scissors here. I'm I will use <laughs> <laughs> This job is done and it deserves the rat dance. Another successful job here, guys. Super excited about our rat vac and all of the accessories to make rat trapping more effective. Most importantly, solving rat problems permanently. Leave your comments, hit that subscribe button, and we better see you on the next one.